Hi everyone, this is Travis Seria with Rhino3D.com, and we had a user write in and ask to us, how do I create a smooth blended transition between my coin frame and a bale? And the answer to that is very simple with Rhino 7's quad remesh and sub D functionality. I'll show you real quick. To get started, we'll need to convert our poly surface into a sub D object. In order to do that, we need to use the quad remesh functionality first. To find the quad remesh tool, we'll look in the new inversion 7 tab under quad remesh. We'll run the tool and it asks us to select the objects to quad mesh. I'll select our poly surface and I'll hit go. Here we can see that it's going to start us off with a high number of faces. This is obviously not going to be conducive to sub D modeling, so I'm going to drop this number down to something very low. I'm also going to start to zero out some of these other settings that would add more polygons than I necessarily want for sub D. At 100, we should have a very small value or a very small number. I'm also going to enable X and Y symmetry, convert to sub D, and interpolate sub D. I'm going to hit preview and see what that gives us. Here you can see that it makes a nice sub D object, but there's still way too many faces. From here, I'll start to walk this number way back. I'll start by cutting that number in half and then even lower. Let's go down to something like 10 and see where we reside. This looks much better. We get some pulling away, but we can always adjust this size back up in a little while. I'll go ahead and hit go. And then I'll delete the poly surface that we used as an input object. Now we actually have a sub D object. We can hold control shift and select a face and begin to adjust our coin frame. The next thing that we'll want to do is locate the faces where we'll attach the bale. That would be this face and this face. From here, we can hold the extrude dot down and begin to add the geometry needed for this bale object. Unfortunately, I don't like the transition along these faces. I want more of an edge right here, more a little more curvature. The first thing I'll do is remove the crease that's along this top edge. To do that, we'll go to the Sub-D menu, and I'm going to locate the Remove Crease tool. I'm going to click it, and that softens this entire edge. Unfortunately, it's too soft. So now I'm going to type Insert Edge, and I'm going to select the edge loop by holding Control Shift and double left clicking. I'm going to right click. I'm going to make sure that the Both Sides option is enabled. And then I'm going to select somewhere along here to insert a new edge. This tightens up the curvature in the corner, but I want it to be a little bit more. So I'll Control Shift double left click, and I'll just simply pull up to tighten that curvature up and give us more of a sharper radius on the corner. From here, I can begin to pull out the bale. Now let's reselect the two faces that we were going to use to attach the bale. And let's drag the extrude dot again using left click and just extrude out a few faces. We can see here that the sharp edge that was along the bottom is transferred into the top of the underside of the bale. I'll go ahead and run the remove crease command again to soften that back up. Also, when pulling those faces out, we've lost a little bit of this edge. I can select these two edges and simply pull down to give it a little bit more of a radius there. Now we'll begin to push and pull and form the shape of our bale. I'm using Control and Shift and left click dragging to select faces and edges and moving them with the gumball. Now it's time to pass a chain through the side of the bale. Holding just the Shift key down, I'll left click and begin to drag the scale 1D handle of the gumball. While I'm dragging that, I'll then press the control key. This begins an extrude, just like clicking on the extrude dot. I'll let go, and now we've got a new loop of faces running around the outside. I'll then select the pass-through faces here that I need to delete so that our chain can pass through here. From here, I'm going to run the bridge command from the Sub-D menu. When bridging, we can connect faces together along a set of open edges. I'm going to make sure the segments is set to 2 to match the number of faces that I have across the top. And I'm going to right click and say OK. Now we have a pass through for our chain. 
The last thing to do is to just clean up the various edges and faces by selecting them and manipulating them with the gumball. So in closing, you can see how using the version 7 quad remesh command has allowed us to go from a poly surface over to this sub D object where we were able to pull the bale right out of the top of it with nice smooth curvature and blends that otherwise would have been hard to achieve.